Hey YouTube, Shaber1000 here and Monkey. Monkey, she did it right. She usually goes, huh? <laughs> eh? Eh? So anyway, what what are we doing? We're we're gonna make you a video, but uh what are we doing? Well, we're gonna camp out in the backyard. <laughs> yes, we're gonna camp out in the backyard. But why are we gonna camp out in the backyard? Well I don't know why. Okay, we're going to camp out in the backyard because... Because we're going to try to find stuff around the house. And we're going to use it to make a tent and to cook out on the fire, open fire. Yeah. And we're going to hang out. So what we're trying to do is, uh, we know, especially nowadays, people don't have a lot of money and maybe they've got kids or whatever and they're kind of bored on the weekend don't have any money to really go anywhere we're going to show you kind of what you can do like maybe have a backyard camp out with your children and you know just use some household things um, you don't have to be fancy and the kids have a great time um, so but we're going to camp out in the backyard but she's afraid of getting attacked by animals yeah like what kind of animals well let me see Armadillos for one. Armadillos. I have a nice big black snake that likes to be around here. Right. And also raccoons. Raccoons and yeah. squirrels. And we have prairie dogs here too, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've never seen them, but that's what they say. I don't know. Uh, we'll it took me out. a while before I seen a bear. And when I did, tell them the bear story. Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> just, just kind of bundled up a little bit. Give my idea of bear story. Well, we decided to go canoeing. <laughs> we'll go and we're coming back on the river and it's getting dark and it's getting darker. And we have our trolley motor and it's almost out of battery. And so there's a little camp area place where you can camp out and they do their canoes. And their canoes there. And... He thought, well, we'll stop here and we'll walk to get the truck and we'll bring the truck back here so we don't have to go any further in the boat because it was It was dark. dead. It was, it was dark dead. The and the boat was dead. Batteries were dead. And it was going to take us longer. Well, we went like 28 miles on two batteries, so that's not... No. So we walking to go get the truck and, of course, it's like a little park and... We go to the, this long road and we get to the end of it. Out in the middle of the woods. Out in the middle of the woods, nowhere. And it's dark as crap out and we hear this wrestling going on. And he's yelling, that's a bear. And I'm freaking out a little bit. But we move faster to the gate and find out when we get to the gate, it's locked. So we can't bring the truck in to get the boat. And I was not going back through the park again to get it back in the boat to go back to the other boat launch. So he ended up doing it on his own. And of That's course, right. the little bear wanted to be with him. And he got a little nervous, didn't you? Yeah, he. I, I knew it was bear. You know, we heard it growl a couple of times. So, you know, I'm walking through, hey bear, hey bear, you know. She's blowing her whistle. And this thing's like, you know, well, when I come back through, this thing was following me step by step, and I, I could see some, like, shadows. And every time I would stop, this thing would stop. And I'm like, please don't be a bear. And I heard a, Phew. and I turned around, no kidding, about 20 feet from me, the big fucking bear right behind me, right? And so I'd walk a little bit backwards, and it'd start walking. And I'd stop, and it would stop. And I'm like... Hey, bear. I'm talking this bear, right? You know, I don't, I don't want to spook it or anything, so I'm kind of moving slow. I'm like, bear, you know, I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Just give me a couple minutes. And it was cool, but it did follow me until I got to this clearing where the little camp area was. There's like uh, restrooms there and stuff where the camp area was and where it's all mowed down. And I got to there, and the bear turned around and left. It, it wouldn't go any farther. So I don't know what that was about, but... You know, I wanted to see a bear like going down the road. I could stop and get out and film it for you. Now, and of course, I didn't have, you know, I had my phone, but, you know, this thing's 20 feet away from me. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. My phone got service. Hers didn't. So even if I got hurt, I couldn't get a hold of her. 
So I'm like, well, I'm not going to videotape this bear. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's a little bear story. But we're that's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to camp out in the backyard. Now, we've got some places we can go around here that we're going to take you um, here in the next couple of weeks. We're going to go camping, and we'll show you a bunch of different stuff and some different things. Um, I think it's free camping out there. It's the Ocala Forest, and... Um, I think there's some YouTube videos on that, so we're going to go and do that. So if you guys got some kind of ideas of what you want us to do, let us know. And, uh, you know, uh, we're up for some challenges. So, like, if you want to send us something and say, you got to get by all night just on what I sent you, hey, we're, we're, we'll do it. You know, we'll do it. Just whatever. But, yeah, uh, then we're, we're going to have a couple of drinks, have the fire. We're going to cook some chicken wings on the, on the fire. But I'm going to film this. Uh, setting some stuff up for you and uh, I think I'm going to try to run a rope between two trees um, I'll explain all this stuff to you, but we're going to have some fun. Show them your little drink there. She's going to have a have a little drink 12 ounce drink and I'm going to have a little drink Really? Really? Now what the heck? You know? Show them the tops. Yeah, really. Okay, so she's got 12 ounces and I've got 32. 32. Now that's a beer, guys. Hey, ooh, ooh. Yeah, give it to me, guys. Hell yeah. So there we go. So I got a couple of these. She's got some of those. But uh, we'll, we'll get back with you here in just a second. So um, just hang in there. Um, for you guys, you know, it's going to take us a few minutes. But for you guys, it will be in three, two, one. All right, we're back. As promised. What we're going to do, we've got this rope right here. I'm going to try to run it from this tree over to that tree. Now, we don't have many trees here, but out in the woods, you know, there's more trees. But it's just kind of a thing. And we've got a tarp, so we're just doing this. Now, if I don't have enough rope, maybe we've got this old dog kennel over here. Maybe we can stretch tarp over that which we might do. I don't know, it's up to monkey. But let's see if we got enough rope here to go around that, from here to that tree. And I can tell you right now, it's probably not gonna be enough. I don't think. Let's see. Okay, not quite. So what, what we're gonna do is uh, we can maybe run it between those two trees. It's up to you. You can speak. If you want. Alright, let's try this. I don't think anybody's going to care. Come with me. I'm coming. I said, if this, come up here, babe. <laughs> you haven't done much camera work yet. No. Are you trying to limbo or cut your head off? Hit <laughs> me the rope. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there's the rope. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, grab this tarp, bring it down here, and drape it over here. 
So you can stay there for a second. Okay. Film something so they're not getting bored. Um, well, he made me a birdhouse. You want a birdhouse? Problem is, the squirrels live in it, not the birds. We got lots of squirrels. Who made your birdhouse? You did. What'd you, what'd you tell them? That you made me a birdhouse, but it really isn't a birdhouse anymore because you don't want to skin it. Alright, remember, Shea Bear made you a birdhouse. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Now, I'm, honey, you're uh -huh. filming clear the hell over there. Listen, what, what I'm going to do, you keep forgetting you got a camera in your hand. She has never done this. Okay. So, show them the tarp. Now, I'm going to put the gray side up because we are in Florida. Maybe it'll help reflect some of the sun away from us. And blue is supposed to be soothing, especially if you're at sea. If you get... If you ever look into one of them rafts, survival rafts, inside is normally normally blue. It's supposed to soothe you, keep you from getting seasickness. We don't have to worry about that problem. We're not moving much here. But <laughs> anyway, let's drape this over here. I'm sorry. Right. Now we do have some more rope if we need it. Not a very big tarp, is it? No. But it's okay. Now what we're going to do is I'll pin it down. Yeah. Yeah. Slow that, slow that camera down, huh? Yeah. And on the corners and on the sides, and we'll make a little, like a little tent. So once we get that done. We'll be back with you, and we'll show you what we came came up with on the uh, on our little tent, and I'll show you how I did do do the side. I'm not going to keep this I'm not going to keep this rolling the whole time. Kind of boring. I know it's hard to watch, you know, a 40 minute video, and I, we're not that exciting. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll get back with you here in just a minute. Okay? So hang in there. Every time I want to videotape you, the cars are going past for somebody's freaking mind. Shit, I'm recording. Alright guys, I'm back. And here's our little tent. Actually, like a little shelter. So you saw us putting the, the rope up. And, hey, you know, guys, if you've already got like a, like a, a clothesline up, that will work too. Now, these are just some, we made the stakes silver stakes right there we made them there was a piece to that and I cut them off and we used um, two long bolts just stuff we had in the garage now kids I can't emphasize this enough before you start rummaging through your dad's garage or grandpa's garage or whatever and cutting bolts up uh, you might want to confer with them first and make sure it's okay before you go cutting up clotheslines and ruining good tarps but anyway, there's our little shelter. This is what we're going to sleep in tonight. Now, if you wanted to, instead of tying these ends here, right there, instead of tying them there, you could actually bring them together and tie them together right here and put one stake in there, and that, that would close the back off for you. But like I said, we want a little breeze, so there's what we've going, got going on there. There's our little badass tent. Excuse me. What did you say it was? Your tent was what? Pretty. Cute. Yeah, it was cute. She said it was cute. That's my son. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, our son's coming, so we're going to leave it right here, and then we're going to get to something else. So we'll be right back with you shortly. I came around this way so I wouldn't get that view. <laughs> really? Well, the, when I left, when I walked over there to get the camera, you turned around the other way. So out of respect, I thought, well, I'll come this way. <laughs> I was already turned around. 
house. Monkey, what are you doing? I'm making my bed. Making your bed, huh? Trying. All right. Just out of a couple old tarps and stuff, huh? Yep. See, I know what a lot of guys are going to think, you know, the professionals and stuff. You shouldn't use silver. It's going to reflect the heat, which is true, but it's all we have, right? Yeah. So it's better than laying in the dirt. But it's not about that right now. What it's about is having fun in your own backyard if you can't get out or if you don't have the money to get out and go somewhere. You can have just as much fun in the backyard, can't you, babe? Yep. Yep, and that's what we're going to do, huh? Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable. You're going to sleep out here all night, huh? Yeah, as long as nothing crawls on me. Oh, shit, that means i got to sleep outside the tent. <laughs> no, we <laughs> No. I don't mind you crawling up. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, guys, she's, she's doing the, uh, she's getting her little bed made up in there. And like I said, that's not really a tent. It's a shelter. We threw it out like 10 minutes. We just, you, you can use any anything, sticks, uh, you know, whatever you got to shove in the ground. Now, this is soft ground because we're here in Florida, like I said. So, it, they these went in pretty easy. But you can make all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I said, you can, you know, drape something over that. A blanket. Whatever. We've got a fire going. I know we didn't cut this down. We didn't cut this up. We went and bought that. That's just an old scrap of piece of wood that we had laying around uh, for building stuff. You know, I mean, you can take, you know, if you got a table, you know, drape drape a blanket or sheet, you know, sheet over, over the table. Make a little doorway. And your kids will absolutely love it, you know. I mean, this is just, you know, about having fun in your backyard. You know, you don't have to have a lot of money. Hell, we don't have a lot of money. But um, we just want to show you. We do this a lot of times. This is the first time we've camped out together. But, I mean, we'll come out here. And as you can see, our old fire pit there is about had it. But, we, you know, we, we make a lot of fires. We cook out. Um, we got some chicken boiling. I'm going to... Uh, put it on the fire on the open fire there and uh, we're going to pick that up I'll I'll show you what we're going to do with that and everything once this fire dies down because I like to cook over coals um, so it's getting a little bit later right now so I mean we're, we're going to have a great time just sit back we're listening to music I mean and the good thing about in your backyard folks is you know you got electric bring the extension cord out charge your devices listen to music uh, you can have lights and um, Let's see, we had a fan out here. Oh, I cut the fan in the house. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she, she's going to have a little fan blowing on her tonight. So, um, yeah, you know, stuff like that that you normally wouldn't be able to do with, say, out in the wilderness, you know, unless you're at a campsite with full hookups. And then you might as well just stay in your backyard and save 75 bucks or whatever it is, uh, 25 bucks a night, whatever, depending. But um, there you go. So we're, we're going to get... Here shortly we'll get the food on there once that burns down and we'll get back with you and chat with you guys for a minute won't we baby yeah we're going to kind of do a little hangout thing we're we're just going to talk to you and have a little bit of fun how's that sound yeah we're just hanging tell a couple out. little stories and and just make this video a fun little video huh yep there's the old boat that i haven't been able to get in that's right we haven't been able to get in it all summer huh no, but it really sucks. We've only had the new motor out on it once. But we'll we'll tell you that story too, huh? Yep. Yeah, but we're not going to let it bring us down, are we? Nope. Nope, we're having a great time, huh? That's right. All right. Okay, well, we'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, YouTube. I'm back. Shaber 1000 here. I'm in the house. I boiled this chicken up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this chicken and I'm going to wrap it up and put it on the fire. Um, I don't want it falling through the grate. So now I didn't make any special kind of rub or anything for this. But what I'm going to do is I got some seasoned salt here. And I'm going to throw some seasoned salt on it. Just like this. And you, you guys can put whatever you want. This is not a how-to on how to make a chicken or, or how to make chicken wings or anything. Um, this is just what we're doing tonight. Now I got some marinade, marinating sauce here. 
Now, I'm actually using pork marinade. It's 30 minute marinade. But I'm actually using pork because I find it actually gives it a really unique flavor um, on this chicken. It's awesome. And then I'm going to roll this up several times and I'll put it on the fire. And when I do, when everything's done, I will show you what it looks like when it gets done. So there's really all I'm going to do. I might, you know, put a little oil in there for some flavor. And I got these here. We've got the corn soaking in water because it's going to go directly on the fire too. Right now we've got our potatoes cooking. Uh, same way, wrapped up. So I'm going to get this on the fire for y'all. And, <coughs> excuse me. And when I get back with you, we'll... Um, We'll show you what it what it looks like because as you can see it's getting dark out here right now. So, see it's a little dark. Hi monk. Hi. Wave. You hear waving. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm gonna wrap this up and get it on the fire too. So I'll be back with you in a, in a, just a second for you guys, but I'll be back with you in a, in a minute or two. Okay, YouTube, what we're going to do here is this is the chicken that, that we wrapped up earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it away and then I'm going to put it on the fire to make it a little, give it a little smoke flavor and it's freaking hot. So I may have to have Monkey here film this for me, please. If you would. Okay. If you would so kindly indulge me. I wrap the hell out of it and then we'll get some smoke flavor on it but I'll show you what we came up with now like I said I had to wrap it up because as you can see if that comes out and gets into the fire it will uh, it will flame up and I will blow up well that's nothing new <laughs> okay while we're doing this why do you say that monkey because you're always blowing up at work I am. That's like how? That's what they say. I see the marks on your body. So. I didn't blow up today. And your t shirts have holes in them. But I. Up. You went with me at work today. I did not blow up. No, not today. You did not. But what was it? Was it yesterday? I blew you up. <laughs> yeah. That scared me. <laughs> I was grinding in a spark. Hit you where on your elbow? Yeah, I moved real quick. And uh, I'm like, where are you going? Okay, now, see how it's still it's stuck a little bit, but uh, not real bad. I kind of wasn't paying too much attention to it because I thought it would be all right. But anyway, so what we're going to do with this is... Um, I'm going to take this back out, and I'm going to put it on the fire and brown it up. And we're going to eat. We had to, uh, we, we cooked the uh, corn on the grill, but I'm going to, on the actual gas grill. But I'm going to take it out and put it on the fire. But this is what we're looking at here. So we're, we're going to give it a, a smoke flavor. And uh, when we get the potatoes done, We'll bring it in here just the same way we're doing this and cook the potatoes or open up the potatoes for you. Then we will eat and we'll probably sign off then. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, and we'll be right back with you. Hey YouTube, we're back. This is the second night. Um, I won't be able to show you how we made the potatoes because uh, something happened. To the file on that one uh, corrupted or something happened now what okay monkey's looking at me real funny now the reason why i'm standing in front of this damn doll is um because i've had so much problems today trying to get this i've been working on this since 10 o'clock trying to get this video made for you and i've had problems after problems corrupted files i've had to fix them but the ending of that video from last night was corrupted. What? Anyway, so <laughs> we was kind of joking about the doll when we did the live feed yesterday on uh, 
on YouTube. I think she may have something to do with it. I don't know. But anyway, this was our weekend adventure. Just an overnighter in the backyard. Why are your eyes so big, monkey? There's things going across the screen, like, really quickly. It's probably dust. Okay. So, <laughs> so anyway, I want to apologize for having to end this video this way. But again, we hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you get out there and try to do some of that stuff yourself. Have a little fun. Enjoy life, you know, like I was saying. Uh, uh, we hope you all have a good week. And um, we'll get another video up here for you soon. Hopefully next weekend we'll do something fun. Um, it's for sale, so, you know. <laughs> so, monkey? Hmm. Those lines crazy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to sign off since monkey don't want to. Go ahead. <laughs> you going to tell him bye, monkey? Bye. Okay, but anyway, um, check her channel out. It's monkey1000. Uh, you can get to her channel off of my channel as well. She just did her first video that she edited herself and actually filmed herself. So um, check it out, Monkey1000. And why did the light go out? Because battery's low. Okay, see, here we go again. Same <laughs> thing is still recording? Yeah. All right, listen, guys, I got to go. Light just went out. I don't know what the hell's <laughs> going on. So listen. <laughs> Y'all be safe, man. Have a great week. We'll chat at you soon. Shea Bear, I'm gone. Bye, guys.